Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and welcome back to another segment of Talking About Success. My next guest is Terry McMahon. He is a business owner, an inspirational speaker, and the author of You Are Not an Addict, Never Were, Never Will Be. I spent probably most of my career in business doing well, and the other part doing well, doing things I shouldn't have been doing. I went in for what I thought was a routine medical issue and it turned out to be a acute liver failure. I went from having almost everything I thought I wanted to being labeled an alcoholic and being put on a end of a liver transplant waiting list and I, I literally needed someone else to die for me to live. So I entered the world of uh, you know getting trying to get better and, and uh, I learned a bunch of things about, about it along the way, about addiction and about the treatment industry and thank God uh, I was allowed to go to Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville in order to be listed to potentially get a donor and, uh, and in treatment I found out uh, it wasn't much more than free YouTube videos and a small bag of chips and some water. And I was trying to figure out what the, what the substance was. While I was there, I learned that the, the, the techniques that I think they use are a little questionable. They say it's a disease and somebody else gave it to you and you were born that way genetically. And there's no cure. Being labeled an addict, it doesn't really serve anybody. The basic model that's out there now is that alcoholism is a, is a disease and it's a genetic thing. And you, you don't agree with that? I don't. So no. talk about that. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a researcher, but there's a lot of data out there that suggests that there is no evidence that, su that makes somebody an addict from birth and, or that's given to you. It doesn't really help, it help people stop by admitting or acknowledging it's a disease, it just gives them an excuse to rationalize what, what, what happened and gives them another excuse to do it again. You're statistically 10 times more likely potentially to get better, meaning not drinking or, or using drugs on your own, than you are in a support group or a treatment center. That probably shocks a lot of people when they think about it. But That's a model, and the model is uh, when you're free will, I mean, declaring yourself to be an addict, you're also saying that you're powerless over a substance. Your, your mind and your free will and your, your intention doesn't allow you to get better, and I disagree with that. I've heard a couple things that I've, that I've connected with, and, and, and one was, uh, there's two things really. One is the opposite of addiction, and this gets some energy. So when I was at the point where I had to make a decision, my, my connection was with my faith. There's lots of different techniques other than what the pharmaceutical companies in the treatment industry will tell you is the only answer in the support groups is to. Is number two is uh, I think the opposite of rehab is recreation, to, to recreate yourself.